We know there are many choices in Internet radio and the staff and host of L.A. Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the Internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is L.A. Talk Live. We are more than just talk. Ten to the minus 33 centimeters of space. Ten minus 43 seconds, that is time. If you want to see the last of the true, look at my face. If you want to crack the mysteries of life, study this crime. Everything you see is a molecular structure. Your clothes, your home, you, your mother, your brother. Molecules make up everything we sense as matter. Everything molecular, even you rappers. Molecules are made by atoms coming together. Some molecule structures are soft, others tougher than leather. Whatever, the molecular structure of things come from the atomic structure of things Now you gotta hear what I bring and what I sing clearly We going through levels of string theory But don't mind me, I'm just shining my light True master got beat, so I'ma rhyme on this mic 22 years rocking, something gotta be right I'm not a crook, I'm more the archaeologist type Digging for truth, I'm original, passing the pipe Peacemaker, street savior, KRS-One is life uh, I got the feeling for feelings, we fighting fascism I raise my voice against racism and classism You can keep your back Living, I pass prison. Talk that shit, you get hit with an ass whipping. I stand with a protest sign. I'm not known for crime, I'm known to hold mine with a chrome nine elements. At this level, money is irrelevant. I'm making you more intelligent, and that's the end of it. If you gave the Asian African scrap metal, okay? Yeah. They will transform that into gold. Teacher, philosopher, mystic, scholar, don't get it twisted, we get that dollar, holla, this K will slay, back in the day and today, yes I do bring drama, I'm a builder, I'm a get killer, I'm a professional without the milk or Matilda, when I'm on the scene it's clear, the streets salute Chris with AR-15s in the air, who you think I'm teaching, the conscious don't need to be taught, I'm talking to my dudes going to court, them thugs in them strip clubs, goons in the back rooms, real gang is wondering when you coming back soon Y'all little dudes is fakers Y'all know money's made of cotton So why you chasing paper? I'm not a hater, hate is whack No doubt I'm a lover And I love taking whack rappers out So let's get to it You youngins need a spanking And in a few years you're gonna be giving me a thanking Thank you big brother, can I have another? You can't play your rhymes for your mother Every time I see another chick Showing her ass for money I holler, where your father honey? What kind of childhood would produce an adult like that It takes a nation of millions to hold us back So why are we holding ourselves back too? Yo, heaven got me But really this hell have you? I'm spitting the truth The truth to you But you reject it Cause you don't really know what to do So you fronting In your own ignorance In your own belligerence Real gangsters, man are militants Y'all just hoes with a million woes You supposed to be down with the Sopranos? Who knows? Welcome back. I'm telling you, who else comes into a show hard hitting like that? Come on, man. Who comes into a show with a hard hitting tracks like that? Just here, Bob Ross. Yes, on the Severe Bay Show. Welcome back, everybody, to the Severe Bay Show on LA Talk Live. I want to welcome my ho- my co host sitting in the room with me. We got my DJ in here, slash uh, co host, Brother Hayes, sitting back at the um, with the players tilted to the side on, in a gangster lean. Tilted. Tilted. That's right. We got my, again, my DJ slash Salvador sitting in with the feds on his head. And always on my right hand side, my man, co host Alberto. Anyway. Bienvenidos. Bienvenidos. Yes. yes. And actually, Christian Little will be back here while I'm out of town in Texas. She will be holding it down. While I'm, so she's back. Trust me. Like I said, she never went nowhere. So Christian Little will be back in the building while I'm going. And actually, that track that went off, everybody, that was actually. We, I was in New York when we did that. That was True Master who does all the beats for Wu Tang, and we did that in Harlem. I remember we being at his house, Karis One, True Master, and the, it was sickening, like sitting in his house listening to that piece right there. And it's another couple of pieces. That was probably five years ago. That joint is old. It's not even new. It's called Meta Historical. 
It's a hot piece. That's a hot piece, ain't it, boy? We ain't got. We ain't even done yet. My favorite part is when he says, "I want to give these whack MCs a spanking." Yes. Years thank later, you're gonna you. give me a thanking. That's what he said. You're gonna be like later on. You're gonna be saying, "You're gonna be saying, Daddy, can I get a?" You know what I mean? Like Chris is crazy. Like he does that. So big up to my brother, True Master from Wu Tang. I actually did that piece with Karis One. Actually in Harlem. Like I said, I was there when they was in the making. That was sick, man. That was. It was like being in the studio, but it was like in his little. I can't even tell y'all where it was. That was like a hallway almost when he was doing it. That's how live it was. It wasn't in a room. It was literally like in a hallway in his house in Harlem doing that track. That's that real hip hop. That's that real hip hop. That's not shit hop. Hip hop. Let's get that one right. But um, kazoo tight, kazoo tight. I want to welcome everybody back. Um, before we even get started, I'm gonna say thank you to everyone that listens every week. Live, you know, listen to us live. The replays, the tweets. Always tweet this show out. Tell a friend it's on. You only really show that you want to get information on. I'm telling you, this is how we go down. We always come in with a bunch of books, a lot of information, um, so people can do their own homework. Um, before we get started, I gotta give a shout out to my brother, um, Stevie One. The happy solar return. Y'all call it birthday. Yes. Yep. Happy solar return to um, Stevie Wonder. Um, actually, happy solar return to my son also, because we had that conversation talking about how they both was Tauruses, and I'm like, well, I know both of y'all cats, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just sitting with Stevie, so shout out to Stevie um, on his solar return, man. So, you know, send out your blessings to that brother. I mean, the brother is really a legend and a key in our in our in with our people, so I just want to say that. Um, like I said, we got a lot of stuff that's going down. We got my brother, Hakeem Bay. Yeah. Not familiar with this brother. He's calling in the half hour mark. He, he, you know, he one of the ones that got me started on where I'm at. Besides brother Todd Tariq Bay, like watching him back in probably like 2000. No, it was earlier than that, 1995. By 1995, I think it was. I was watching Hakeem Bay. He did his um, books called The Moorish Paradigm. You know, and and I had every last one of them. So big up to Hakeem Bay. He'd be calling in at the um at the half hour mark. Um, like I said, we got a lot of stuff going on. Actually. Before we even get started, I gotta give a shout out to my sister, uh, Vanessa Bell Calloway. She was here a couple weeks ago. If you didn't see that show, go back and watch the show when she came in. If you're not familiar with Vanessa Bell Calloway, she actually is, listen, tremendous, and she's a beautiful actress, man, and beautiful soul. So she has a play coming out called Letters for Z- Letters from Zora, and it's actually playing from May the 10th to May the 18th. So. Get with the get with the sister. She's on Facebook. Vanessa Bell Calloway is is the real Vanessa Bell Calloway. Okay, so some people have Facebook pages up there, and it's not them. Okay, but it is her. It's going to be at the the Playhouse. I don't even know the Pasadena Playhouse. The Pasadena Playhouse. And actually, it started last this weekend. But yep. for tickets, huh? Somebody did you say something? Oh, for tickets, it's six two six three five six seventy five twenty nine. Again, that's six two six three five six. 7529 at the Pasadena org. You can go in there also. Check out it. It's a one woman show. Vanessa Bell Calloway is doing her thing. And actually, we have an event coming up too, also, right? We yeah, have yeah. A, but my, my brother, one of my greatest teachers, brother Taz Tariq Bay, is going to come to LA. Where's that at? You got that? You got that flyer, bro? Yeah, yeah. Out everybody? A Sabir Bay production. Heritage of the Moors in America, Friday, June, what, June 6th, is it? June 6th. 2014, 6:30 to 9:30 p.m. at the Crest Unity Center, located at 7825 Southwestern Avenue in Los Angeles. Tickets $20 at the door. Y'all definitely don't want to miss you that. You don't want to miss it, but I heard they trying to get ready for Todd. I said that's the wrong person to try to get ready for. Those the so-called <laughs> Pan-Africanism that want to keep that, oh. that that thing going over there. I said it ain't gonna happen. Oh. You couldn't handle Brother Wesley Muhammad when he came in. Yep. You're not gonna be ready for Todd because Todd's gonna have an answer before you even try to ask it. So <laughs> that's how Brother Todd gets down. So it's going to it's going down. To, actually, the sixth at the Karash Unity Center, 6:30 to 9:30, which we know it might roll over a little bit later. Than that because Taj loved to talk and we no <laughs> way get out of here yeah he loves to talk and we doing San Francisco on the seventh we don't have that information but San Francisco the next day we riding up there and um we doing it up there also so we'll be here in L A June the sixth is going down Taj will be here any question that you want to ask pertaining to the Moors come bring it and like I said uh I, you know it's not attack on all the Moor science temples but listen they are not the authoritarians on all this stuff they are not. So there are things that is going on. A sister informed me yesterday that it was some um, brothers came in the courtroom with feathers on and then 
something happened. They invaded. Something dealt with it. I don't know if you saw the news. I heard about that. heard about it, right? And they ran into the Morris Science Temple, whatever. In Detroit. Yeah, in Detroit. So watch out for, oh, yeah, watch out for the propaganda that is going on. She's going to fill me on what really went down, which the media is not going to put out there for everybody because the media puts out what they want Mm -hmm. you to see. And they always have to make us being criminals. But yeah, they glorify a dude kissing another dude on TV. Let's be real. Wow. And I'm being real. And I and I might not be invited to no more of these parties, but I'm not with the thing now. I'm not with the gay thing. I'm not with it. But um, you won't glorify and help talk about this is cool. Mama, 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 Kiss mama. a dude. He's NFL. It's okay to do that. It's all right. It's fine. But we can't talk about who we truly are and put the real information out. But you can do it here on the Sabira Bay Show every week. You can call up. Give us a call in. You know, bring yourself in. You know what I mean? This is the only place you want to get the real. And my, actually, my brother Shaq Kim is over there dying. I mean, because it was crazy. The brother, masculine, so-called dude, kissing a scrawny little gay dude on TV, and they clapping. I'm happy he came out. Is we gonna everybody gonna be? You know what? But we can't talk about who we are. They lick chocolate what? off. What? They lick chocolate off each other. Oh my God, I'm done. Listen, don't believe the hype what y'all see on TV. I'm telling you. But these brothers investigate and do not go to a Morris Science Temple Inc. religion to ask anything to them because they are always going to make us separate. We are not separate people. This is not a religious movement. I keep saying this every week. Don't go to them as if they are the authoritarians. They don't have no media. They need a media realm, which is one big up to my brother, um, Abdullah Bey, for this media realm, the, the Masonic Gate, or this show. You must, And we ain't talking blogs talk okay and that's only preaching to the choir but we're talking about a real media realm that will get out to the masses of the people and to clear up all this bull that is happening do not believe what they saying about these brothers in detroit i may not be with the whole drug selling thing i'm not with it but they've been selling drugs to us for the eons if Ph- you, pharmaceuticals are drugs aren't they? thank you compounds mm-hmm. white sugar is a drug oh mm. the food that we eat salt is drugs so artificial not sugar twisted we so go on not, and on we, go we, on go, and we on. can go on and on with this but again do not go to them as if they are the authority on this morris movement and from my brother Todd Tariq Bay, they do not have authority on any of this the movement is in the street every single day and this is what we do here in this movement and big up to Africa Bambada because Bams will be calling and he told me make sure you look out for a number. He's over in Italy right now. But um, he said make sure you look out for the number. So I hopefully you have the time to call in. So I just wanted to put that out there because it's not, like I said, it's not all the more science temples. People just relate it always to them. And it's not them because they have not produced a document to this day that will actually inform and feed our people mentally or physically. Period. That's just how it is. So hopefully the sister will fill me in. If not, we don't get it today. We will get it next week. The information about really what went down. You all right? So also, um, we was talking about the, the the media period, like even with this Jay-Z thing. I'm like, come on, man. I One thing Bam just told me, he said, don't feed into that. But where did they get the picture from? Where did they get the camera? Like, really? We got to realize how powerful this media is right here. And we must support this show, this station, period. Not just tuning in, but we need finances like Doc. And big up to Dr. Um, Claude Anderson. He said economics, economics, economics is the key. We must have economics to keep this type of information out, unless you're going to get what you just saw with the two brothers kissing each other. Yep. Okay. Or the TMZ talking about your family. That's a family. Wow. That's a family affair. What took place with Beyonce and her sister. That's a family thing. They're normal right. people, but the media feeds mm-hmm. off of that. So mm-hmm. feed off of this. Tweet this out to everybody. Let them see this because we're going to drop a lot of jewels today. And I said I wasn't going to harp on a lot of this information because I didn't want to waste time on it. And also, let me put this out um, with my brother Kevin Hart and Mike Epps. Family fight. But in comedy, you should not even be doing that. I am, Kevin is from Philly. I love the brother. Mike is a great actor. He's a great comedian. Listen, let's come together. At least y'all can come into this show and let's really find out what's going on because again the media are using you every single day for ratings rate this show every day let's put this out there to everybody because i know they get scared of this show sometimes i really do because i sit home sometimes but i really shut up too <laughs> you know but brother claude anderson told me he'd be ready to give up and i said claude you cannot give up this mm-hmm. he's been doing it since the 60s mm-hmm. and he told me he's ready to get i said you cannot give up no we're not a really not paying attention to what is going on we need the economics. 
seriously. And he said the media is one of the tools, and this is the, the media realm that we need right here, right now. I'm not just a talk show host. I actually know the information that is going on. All right? And I'm going to, real quick, I'm going to run through this because there were some things I was watching on the video that he was talking about. And he was talking about how snitches are. People think snitching is something new. A lot of people don't even know that Virginia had a law in 1710 called the slave snitch. The slaves who snitches get awarded freedom. Hmm. All these niggas that's wow. on these TV shows that's talking about each other and downing our people, they the snitches for real. That's that's called dry snitching. They really doing it. Because a brother hit me on Facebook the other day and asked me about this guy named, um, 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 I can't think, he's a sports dude. And he was talking about somebody, something with weed or something happened. I don't know. Y'all watch sports. I don't watch sports. I care less about the football player oh, kissing him. Yeah, I think that's what it is. What's that boy's name? I don't even know his name. Something. Alex, I don't even know. But I ain't hit. I don't know. Whatever. He were, you know, he talked this talks crazy mess. But he was talking about somebody else wasting their time dealing with money, losing his money for smoking weed or something, he said. But that's that's called the dry snitching, okay? Like, I'm the good Negro. You can come over here. That's what they were saying in 1710. That's what those Negroes right there. I'm going to run a couple of things down. We're going to take a quick break. And we're going to come back. But also, in 1722... They had in and on um, Pennsylvania they had condemned black the black it was called the black ass with whites. You couldn't intermix, right? And this stuff is still going on today. I just found out in Tennessee that you cannot even it's a they make it a crime to have interracial babies. What? what people act like it's shocking. Like it's not nothing new. But interracial who? We Europeans? Because really, if you Latino or whatever, you we all the same people. It doesn't matter. That's what I'm talking about. Also, in Maryland Occupation Act of seven eighteen twenty seven. They got the Occupation Act. Um, you had the uh, Illinois Marriage Act, Marriage Law, who forbid interracial marriages in 1829. New York, they had the Runaway Law, 1705. If you ran away and you were Negro, Black, and Color, we're going to take you right back. It's a whole lot of stuff <laughs> that is happening, man. So it's not nothing new. So watch out for these cats that's on these TV shows. Believe me. Or, these, or, or this media, because they're misleading you. The only place you're going to get this real talk from is here on the Sabir Bay Show every week. With a panel like this, which I love, and they always bring something to it. We got a caller real quick. We're going to take this caller before we get into this next music. Like I said, we always going to take you on a musical and informational journey every week. Let's take this caller. Caller, what's your name and where you calling from? Greetings. Are you still there? Peace. Peace. Yeah, oh, that's Peace. Brother Hakeem. Yeah, I told him 630, but that's, brother, we're going to keep him on hold for a minute. But um, Hakeem, you yeah, can listen to it online. I'm, I'm muted now. Okay. I just, well, I, actually, I, right. I guess calling in at 630. But we got to really investigate everything. This is why I love when, when Alberto and Sal and Hayes, they come in with this information and show. We don't just come in. We come with books. This is a brilliant book that I, I love to share with everybody. Who I know. Job knowledge on us. I know. Good. I got to get that one. Ancient and Modern Brits, man. This is a brilliant book I tell people to get. Ancient and Modern Brits, man. And tell them who is by. David McRitchie, anything, and actually Hakeem going to build on it about, you know, when he come on, about what McRitchie means, because actually that's a Moorish title, to tell you the truth, it's a Moorish name, to tell you the truth. Yep. It ain't European, and it was written in 1884, and how we were here on this land, it's called the African tribe, that was on this land, called the Lenny Lenape. Now, we think of Lenape, we think of someone else. Let's put this out there in the media. See what I'm saying? Let's put the right stuff out there so people, let's feed them mentally. I just put a book. Um, from a secondhand bookstore. Could you put that up real quick? I'm going to show you. Can we show that map up close real quick so people can see that Sabir is not making this up? Because somebody may say Sabir is on conspiracy things. I don't deal with conspiracy. There's a piece right here called Mu. And Brother Hakeem Bay is actually going to touch on that. That is a map. I believe this is North America, South America, and this looked like Mu. Right there. It's right here. Pacific. Mulantis. This was actually already over here. We've been here. So let's put this out instead of two guys kissing each other. Yeah, and that's reference from a Reader's Digest book right there. Exactly. You say that again, Sal? I said the reference is from a Reader's Digest book. That's how we get down. Made by a European, probably. Exactly. So, again, let's put this out, y'all. Tweet this out right now. Tweet, because I'm telling y'all, I want to tweet this information out. My brother Hakeem going to I mean, because if we it. had the economics, we'd be able to make our own <laughs> literature and promote it on our own media. Oh, wow. Tweet, tweet. Exactly. Hello, hello, tweet. Yeah. And that's one of the tweet, things tweet. that... Can I get some? Can I get some? That's what Brother Claude Anderson was talking about. Yep. But we must actually don't let's say I like the show. Support the show. You know what I mean? This is show what me. we're talking about. Show me. Don't tell me. That's how it is. Show because me. every week we have this type of information out. And I get boggled down 
with this information like yo Sabir you gonna talk about this you gonna talk about that and again I said I wasn't gonna harp on it but stop oh wow stop with these dudes it's okay to be kissing a man on TV and then it's a scrawny little European guy that he's kissing and you're gonna make it seem like that's what's up that's what let's talk about the family you know what I mean let's talk about the family structure let's talk right. about who we really are I don't you know it's like Let's push on who we truly are. Let's if we talk about that, we gotta be criminals, some type of religious person, or we gotta be little punks. You know what I mean? Or something like that, like these cats on these sports shows. I'm like, what the hell is this, man? Like really. Yeah, I'm coming at y'all because I don't watch sports. I could care less. I don't watch sports. I don't get down with that. But this is what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a norm in another five years that it's okay to do that. You follow me? I have sons. And actually it was funny because I remember when my teenage son knocked one gay dude through the it was a gallery window in philadelphia it was so funny he knocked the gay guy for looking at him through the window it was hilarious i couldn't do nothing but laugh when he told me you know what i mean but he got put out the gallery i'll tell you that much but i liked it you know mm. shout out to my son real because actually his solar return was on the 10th we got to call it real quick call big it up, big up <laughs> call it welcome to the severe bay show Hi. Somebody's talking to somebody else, bro. Let's click it. I think she's talking to Jesus. Yeah. But anyway, we're gonna take this quick break and come back with some more information. Like I said, my brother Hakeem Bay is coming on soon, and the brother's gonna drop it real quick on you. If you know, if you're not familiar with this brother, you better YouTube him. Hakeem Bay, the brother's very powerful, and he's mm-hmm. coming to LA real soon. But um, we're gonna go back into some more music. You ready, D? You ready, man? We got, ready. we got brother Shaq Kim on the ones and twos today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the teacher's back. <laughs> Always listen to these lyrics, y'all, when we play these songs, because you're not going to hear it on commercial radio, but nope. you hear it right here on the Severe Bay Show. But give us a call in the studio, 323-473-3100. That's 323-473-3100. Anybody can call in. We don't block you. You can see us. Let's wave everybody. Let everybody see that we're Children's. actually we're live. We're live, so we won't be blocking you. Just don't take up all the time. But don't, you know, he's stupid. Oh, that's, <laughs> no, for all, my, for all my deaf audience out there, I love y'all. Oh, you yeah. see? <laughs> that's Satan. All right, whatever. We're going to go right back. <laughs> right On back. that note. We'll <laughs> be right back. You Ignorance is a beautiful show. thing sometimes. Oh, Talk the bliss. Yeah, yeah. You ready? Let's go. Come on. 
mind and the body and spirit. But the black be too hard headed. They like all oh, forget it. Till they locked up in their blood and shed it. I really spit conscious rap. And when I say stop the violence, how you think we stopping that? With a flower, a protest, a rally, a band? Oh no, I got the baseball bat in my hand. Over stand, I'm taking a stand, not taking the stand. I don't disrespect women cause I'm a man. And some say be mad. You uninformed journalists, y'all can talk to the head. On my block, women get respect and trust. Cause when you diss a woman, you diss and her feed us. And dissing our unborn children will defeat us. I'm not an elitist, I just know the world need us. And the whole world don't need y'all. Y'all just beat makers. You need to learn from Molly Mall. The teacher's back, the heat is back. Go. The teacher's back. Go. Guess who just stepped in the room? Ow! Who? It's a Beer Bay Show <laughs> on LA Talk <laughs> Live. <laughs> Kisses Converse. <laughs> He's a Kiss My Converse. Y'all do have Chucks on, don't I? Hush your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. I do have Chucks on. Yo, man, listen. I am keep telling you, put this show up against anybody's show. I dare you. I'm talking about commercial-wise. You will lose hands down because we always take you on a musical journey. That was actually called Hip Hop Lives. And if you ever, if you notice my um, big up to Jessica Abraham for always. Yes. Yeah, always. I always got a shout out. Jessica Thank you, Abraham. Jessica. She puts all, she goes to work, boy. She really puts it down on this because it actually, the flyer says hip hop ain't dead. You know, we call it pure edutainment. I don't think she sleeps. And I don't think she sleeps. And actually got to get a shout out to Karis one because that brother always inspires me, man, to actually. Yes. Go, because he kills it. You know what I mean? He said, when you diss a woman, you diss a her fetus. Put this out there to everybody. Let them see that. Let them hear this type of music on airway. You know what I mean? And they don't want that out there because it'll make you start thinking. But they want you to get focused on the guy that was kissing the other guy. The masculine. It's okay to do that. It's fine. It's okay to kiss a guy. You know, really? And then he was rubbing his arm. Get the hell out of here with that, man. Beat it, man, with that bull, man. For real. Like I said, I guess I won't be invited to none of those parties because we know we got couple people that, you know, think because of the uh, rewards we would give them if they don't talk about I mean, the only, I mean, it will make that family complete is some children, though. Exactly. You no, know. they're going to adopt the children. That's how they're going to do yeah, this. You how, know, that's that's, that's, the, game. that's the game right now. Adopt the child. I wonder from where. Exactly. From Africa. Because we don't want them. <laughs> we don't want to adopt them. You I follow want the, me? I want them to adopt a, a beautiful young girl you know, so they can show, raise her a, 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 as a woman, teach her what a woman should be. You know, you know what's so funny, Sal? Every sister Stop I've it. dealt with that had children, their children are still like my children. I mean, children. mothers can Isn't raise... That crazy? Like, yeah. let's do that. Like, yeah. let's be realistic with yes. it. But they, again, they always got to put the negativity out there in the media. Ooh. The negativity. Let's put the positive out. Let's put this show out there to the world because a lot of people are listening to this show and looking at it because you don't just listen to us. You're looking at us also. You see these nice looking brothers in the room. I mean, it's a beautiful <laughs> world out there. There's only a couple bad people in it. You know, that's all. I don't know, but yeah, whatever. And anyway... Um, <laughs> but anyway, you see note. what I'm saying? There's one right there. Yeah, whatever, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, we have fun on the show, y'all. Listen, if y'all want more info this information, and actually Alberto brought something in the room before I bring our guests on. Uh, Alberto brought something oh, yeah. in the room, and I talked about this, and I had to give classes every week, y'all. Everyone is is in strong it's, beach. It's, the donations is only like ten dollars. You get probably a law class in within two or three hours at this class I give every week. And every week we do the classes at 1901 Atlantic Avenue. So again, if people can fly from LA to New York and I see them in New York in our classes, you can go to Long Beach. Cause one thing I found out that Long Beach don't go to LA, LA don't go to Long Beach. I'm like, what type of sh is that? You know, but you can come up every, every Wednesday we are there at seven o'clock, 1901 Atlantic Avenue. Again, 1901 Atlantic Avenue, it's on the corner. Come in. We're going to be talking about a whole lot of things. We got a host of books, DVDs, books that we have for everyone. So we brought the East Coast to the West Coast. And actually, we're going to talk about this thing that Alberto just brought in real quick before we bring my guests in. Yes, I think it's the birth title to my vehicle or one He's of my so vehicles. Funny. Something He's like so, that. He's so funny. He's a birth <laughs> title to his vehicle. And, and one thing I wanted to show people, and I'm not, uh, and I'm gonna show this in class tomorrow. I hope I can get to keep that copy right there. Sure. Okay. Um, on this title, and I want everybody to take a title out in their houses, whatever you at, go look at it. And on the back of it, it's gonna say, if you're not a registered dealer, section D on the front should be filled in. So section D says what on the front of there? It should say lean hoarder on there. 
It's a lien holder that's on there. On the bottom of it, see, he ain't even never read his. I his never even read. Honestly, never I never read, read it. Just I just jumped in, turned the just, key, and let's he go. He just knew that he had <laughs> owned a car and he got it right. Well, not really own it because I'm I'm property. But most people think they do own a car. Property but anyway, can't own property. On on the front part of this paper says lien holder. You must become a lien holder, and you come to class and learn about this. Actually, I'm doing a six week course on it. I believe, um, coming up soon. We're just trying to get everything together. I'm waiting for um Karen to put it together now. Um, we're gonna be building on that about how we do these things. But on the front of there, you must become the lien holder. And a lien holder is a interest in a vehicle. This is why they can do what they want. You have no interest in anything that you have. An interest is where you get your compensation when they take your property. It's in the Constitution. There's two types. Due process is in the Constitution. In the, if one says compensation, the other one don't say compensation. So what the compensation is, you must have the interest in the vehicle. These mothers. <laughs> Mother, shut your mouth. But that's what's on the titles to the car. Look at it thoroughly. Read everything before you fill anything out. Mm -hmm. Read it and then look up where it says lien holder one, lien holder two. And then get a law dictionary. Show them what a law dictionary is. Some people may not know what a law dictionary is. I think they believe you just got to go to law school to have a law dictionary. Well, that's what it even says right here. Black's Law Dictionary, fourth edition right here. Okay. It says a lien holder, holder of security interest. There you go. Which... See what I'm saying? It's Man. right in front of your face. But look up the definition. I gotta of read things more often. Yeah, think. It's not against the law yet. But anyway, lien holders is actually interest in a vehicle. That's what it is. If you want to read it? You, oh, yeah, well, ancient, I, 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 I thought you were versing it right off the head. Like, no, I know it, but I'm just I want right. you know. But somebody might think I'm making it up though. I don't know. All right. The definition of lien is a charge or security or encumbrance upon property. Our property, right? Yeah. That's why I tell people that he pulling out every god darn thing. What is that? Like we're going to town. Every every state has its own, but read them. It says the same thing. You would not get this type of information on any kind of commercial, you know, radio. But you get schooled. Actually, again, I'm gonna repeat this again. 1901 Atlantic Avenue. We do classes every week, seven o'clock sharp, sharp. Okay. So again, come out tomorrow. Get a law dictionary. Invest in a law dictionary. Um, it's not just one. It's not a black person, y'all. Is that a black people's dictionary? What? It's not a black dictionary, y'all. Oh man. I'm so t it's, I'm tired of people saying it's a black. Is it? No, it's Henry Campbell Black. Newsflash. But if, if you, it gets you in interested, then by all means, pick it up. Pick it up. Exactly. You know Carter G. Woodson from the Miseducation of the Negro, he said, you don't have to go to law school to know the law. He said that. So you must know the law, he said, like the Englishman knows the law. So you must know it. Stop going on what the tell a lie vision is telling you. So, I mean, that's, I, have to keep, I have to keep putting it out there. But, again, it's the only place you're going to get this information at, man. But I'm going to actually bring in my guest real quick. I have a guest that's um I've known for some time. This brother actually schooled me on, on a lot of things, man. If you ever look this brother up online, a lot of the stuff y'all looking at is from VHS tapes. And I'll tell you, he can bear witness to this. He the first brother I was building on about New Lances. Yo, brother Akeem, are you there? I mean, we got a lot of stuff in the background, brother. We got Hakeem? Peace. Hakeem. Hakeem, are you there? Peace, yes, I'm here. Oh, man. So I know we in New York, brother, but come on, man. man every five seconds. I already know what's going on. I already, <laughs> know, what's going, I already, I already know what it is in New York. I'm like, Hakeem, you is you there? Better. I thought yeah, you want to, you I, I, go. I thought you wanted to go visit Jesus or something. I don't know what the, was going on with nah, you, man. Nah, man. Nah, I'm trying to keep a steady line here, man. You know what I'm saying? The NSA kid is interfering up in here. The professional <laughs> listeners. <laughs> That's what's up. But this brother right here, uh, like I said, I've known for some time. And I'm going to introduce everybody who are not familiar with this brother. You would do your research, your due diligence on this brother. Because this brother is no joke. And actually... It was, I, I believe it was Hakeem at the same time that I meant Taj. You know, so some people may think Hakeem Bay is something new, but no, this brother been around for a minute. He started the Morris Paradigm, his books. I love this brother. And he always had information for the people. He always had information. And Noble Jolly said, in order to change the people's thinking, you must change their literature. And this brother created the literature for everybody. And I got to a plug. Can I give a clap to this brother right here? Okay. Because, like I said, I you know, people look at the MST of A or the Morris Science Temple as the authorities on this, and they are not they have not produced anything since 1929. I'm going to say this. And I've, like, known, watching this brother here and Brother Abdullah Bey and all the new, the books that Brother Taj Tariq, I look up to all these brothers. And I want to thank you, Brother Hakeem, on air, live, for your contribution to this movement, brother. 
Word up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mo. Thank yes. you. Yes, sir. And uh, first of all, let me just start off and say, you know, like I said, like you said, I'm um, trying to bring some things to the people. Um, hopefully, most of the listeners uh, have access to the internet. Um, let me just mention something real quick because, you know, whenever I, I always like to have something visual, you know, I know everybody might not be able to see it tonight. Um, a lot of people probably called in, but let me give this website address real quick because I have a live visual video slideshow uh, of images and things come up from the 13 books I wrote called Journal of Moore's Paradigm. So if you go to join, that's J O I N dot me, M E forward slash WordPress2. I'll repeat it again. You'll see a live slideshow of everything I'm going to be speaking about tonight. Again, go to join.me forward slash WordPress2, all one word. All right. And if I you know, need to repeat it again, I'll repeat it. One more time. That's join.me forward slash WordPress 2, and as soon as you go there, you'll see a picture of the prophet standing right there, and at the very top it says The Journey of the Moorish Paradigm, book one. This is the very first book, so naturally I started off with the prophet, and right below it it says, this is Prophet Noble Ali. Take a good look at him. He is one of the greatest men who has ever lived, yet perhaps nine out of every ten of our people, Moors, don't even know who he is. Mm. Now, I originally I originally wrote this book back in 94, 95, 1995. So at that time, this, uh, excuse me, 1992, what, what I'm saying, 19, uh, 1992. Now, at this time, you know, this is this was the resurrection of the Moors, of the new, of the new Moors, what was referred to as the new Moors who were coming up. At that time, in New York City, in Harlem, and many other cities, you know, most of the temples were mostly elders, eld, elder Moors there. It wasn't too many of the young generation. So, and they, and that old generation wasn't really too much bringing it into the streets. Exactly. So on the street level, you know, you go to the average brother or sister, nine out of every ten at that time didn't know who the Prophet Nova Juali was. But thanks to, you know, all the work and all the research and things that the Moors have been producing now, I would, I would cut that in half and may even be more. Than that, I mean, I, you know, I, I have my son coming from school talking about, yeah, they was talking about the Prophet Noah Ali, yes, and they were looking at your videotapes on YouTube. So, I mean, young, young ones, you know what I'm saying, gang bangers, all, you know, all kind of things now, is aware of the Prophet. Of course, we still got a lot of work to do on a social and economic level, but the word is out, the buzz is out, it has people's ear, the Moors, the Moors, the Moors, the Moors, you know, there's a lot of good, there's a lot of bad circulating, all that will be sorted out. The key thing right now is that people is coming to awareness of their heritage that was hidden and buried. Mm. So uh, I don't know. You want me just to? I, I don't know if you want to ask me questions or you want me just to proceed on and just uh, reveal some of the things that's in the, these books or Journal of Moore's Paradigm. I want you to go there because actually the panel right here and people that may be listening have questions for you because they don't have a that's clue. Right exactly you know mm. what you are about and this is what i love about what the brothers have said it's the younger moors that's coming in and there's some great brothers mm. that's actually are putting the work out um on the streets because brother todd said they act like they had the temple have a monopoly on noble Drali, and when you don't have a monopoly on noble Drali. so it's the nation is always in the streets with the people and your literature brother woke up a lot of people brother and and what you just said about your son our sons we are leaving a legacy that's here because people are look at our ch our children friends will look at us and say wait a minute that's my dad you know what i mean like they look at celebrities this is the image uh, we want to put out here for everybody not we just some passive people and turn the other cheek like you know what i mean no but yes um we have a panel that's here brother that want to ask you some questions if you have a question to listen to the listening audience feel free to call in 323-473-3100 the spirit Bay show but yes, you have a question for brother I, I love the questions yes I, I got the ammo right here so yeah i bet you do let's get it popping let's get it popping any questions? Yeah, I ain't got no questions. Yeah, well, we can. Yeah, let's Actually, shock him. Let's shock him. Cause I'm shock him. Sure I, it's want, funny. So. Like people, you know what's so funny? People have so much to say when it's like when their person is not there, but you want to hit me on Facebook. <laughs> I'm bringing the people. Ask anything. No question is stupid. We are That's here. Right. We are not the people that you can just. 
you know, we're not just going to shun you off. So ask your question openly. I know questions. Well, I just don't want to, but this is I'm, for you. I'm sure they're going to have some. Yes, I'm brother sure Shaquem. My, actually, my engineer Shaquem has one for you right now. How actually, you doing, my brother? And thank right. you for calling in. We really Please. appreciate your, you know, your, your, the time that you put in and educating so many people, and especially this, you know, brother here, Sabir Bay, you know, coming out here bringing the knowledge. You know, but I, I wanted to ask you a couple of questions, uh, or just one in particular. Uh, are you familiar with the Sumerian king list? Yes, this, yes. Um, I'm familiar with. Um, does the, the does the Moorish culture go back that far? Oh yeah, I mean, when ultimately, when you trace us back, we the same people. Um, we pass through various dispensations of civilization and vary, various evolutions of the social and economic order, you know, in different national names and things of that nature. But we go way, way back because you got to keep in mind that our ancestors were the founders of civilization going way back. I mean, even going back before the flood, before the so-called deluge or the cataclysms that took place on the planet Earth, which broke up the ancient civilizations of Atlantis, what was referred to as Mu and Atlantis. As a matter of fact, on the screen right now, I have a picture of what Sabir Bay was talking about earlier today. This is from the, uh, the, uh, the first issue of the Journal of Morse Paradigm. Mm. And this is why my original website was called Mu-Atlantis.com. Here you see Mu in the Pacific, and here you see Atlantis in the Atlantic Ocean, which right. also deal with the Atlantis Island in the Caribbean. And so that ancient civilization was very powerful. And what happened was that there was a series of worldwide cataclysms, according to the geological record, that took place around 1500 BC or 3,500 years ago. And these cataclysms was recorded in different parts of the world as um, um, floods in some areas, volcanic eruptions in other areas. As a matter of fact, these cataclysms were recorded in two places in the Bible, um, that, but matter of fact, three places that people may think is unconnected. The flood, the, uh, the, uh, the, the fall of the Tower of Babel, and the plagues of Exodus. All of these are dealing with the same series of cataclysms that took place mm -hmm. worldwide. As a matter of fact, and, um, you know, but different places uh, experienced different aspects of it. Some experienced volcanic eruptions. Some places, whole lands went to suck. And this is the reason why when you go in the Caribbean, you go to Cuba, off the coast of Cuba, they found a city with pyramids and everything down there, 2,200 feet below sea level. Right, right. I heard about and that. And so this is, just another, this is just another example of that. Also, it's come out, and we've been talking about this for the longest, is that Florida is a piece of North Africa mm, right. that stays yes. stuck in yes. North America when the continent is separated. Exactly. All right? And now they're saying parts of Georgia and so on and so forth is also a part of that. All right, so these things took place in relatively recent time. And so when you get into these ancient king lists and so on and so forth, again, these are dealing with the different dynasties that we set up. In the Bible, their code for us at that time in those ancient dynasties was Ham and the children of Ham, the Cushites, the mm -hmm. so-called Hamites, and this is where you get into Mesopotamia, Sumer, or Sumor. You know, all this is dealing with the ancient <laughs> Moors, what I refer to as the ancient Moors, Samaria, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Samaria, Elam, going into, going into the Indus Valley. And see, this is where Prophet Noah Dr. Ali and, and the Moor Science of America, uh, uh, excuse me, the Holy Quran, the Moor Science of America, chapter 47, he lays out the, the, the Medes and Dominions of our empire because after those cataclysms took place, there was massive uh, 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 dispersals of peoples and populations all over the world. And so what happened was that all the birthrights was resettled, and he mm. mentioned in chapter 47 about the fowls of Egypt, which was the ruling empire of the domains of Amexum. Exactly. And the land was divided up between the father and the son. Kush was given everything from east to Ethiopia, going east. Ethiopia was the demarcation line. He was given everything from Ethiopia going east into Sumer, into Indus Valley. You know what I'm saying? This is why you got the Hindu Kush mountain range there. Mm -hmm. All right. And Ham, his father, was given everything from Ethiopia going west, West Africa, North, South, Central America. This is where he did the domains of Amexum or Ham Mexum. All right. 
And so this was the divine of the land, or really the earth, between the father and son. This is why they also mentioned that right after the flood, who was in power? Nimrod. Nimrod was, was, was in charge of the whole world order at that time. This is why even the Jews and the legend of the Jews by Ginsburg, they said that when the Messiah come, he will rule the whole world like Nimrod did. Mm. So they even compared their Messiah to come with having power like Nimrod. And see, you know, there are a lot of haters of Nimrod, but Nimrod was a powerful, powerful king. And right. it, it, it deal with the collapse of the pyramid university system, which circled the whole planet like a belt. And we set up these different pyramids and different temples and obelisks because the same way that your body has meridians that they use in acupuncture, the earth has the same lines that energies flow in, which we refer to as ley lines. Mm. And what we did was build different temples and pyramids in different locations. It was almost like we was needling the earth in order to stimulate and generate energy. And so what happened was that before the flood, before these cataclysms, we had a worldwide energy system that was connected with the pyramid university system. Right. But when those cataclysms mm. came, it broke mm. that down. And so we had to find another new renewable energy source, and this is where you got into animal domestication and human slavery, renewable energy. The only reason why we had to be slave to that is because the old ancient system or energy system was broken down as a result of the cataclysms that took place. But we knew ahead of time, and this is why certain priesthoods preserved certain information, but it was broken up. And this is where you get the so-called Babylonian, the confusion of tongues. And what, what it was really saying was that the, the different dialects was just different aspects of the one culture that was broken up. So different priests preserved different parts. So let's say in India, you know, they, they, they preserved some of the tantric practices and so on and so forth. You know, in the Americas, the Olmecs, they preserved the, the aspects dealing with the calendar and time reckoning. This is the reason why it was referred to as the Kronos people and so on and so forth. So all these ancient kingdoms go back to us. And in the Bible, in the Quran, the, uh, Quran of Mecca, the ancient cold war was for that was dealing with Ham. And this is why when, 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 when Ham, when they talk about that ancient, this is where you get the divine kingship came from, divine queenship, or the divine monarchy system, which is also what they refer to as polytheists, hmm. which means many different gods. But they wasn't worshiping many different gods. Originally, those different gods were different representations of different aspects of the universe. Right. All right? Later on came monotheism. All right. And so when that came in place, they had to overthrow the previous system and demonize the previous system. So this is the reason why uh, or Nimrod and all, the, all everything associated with the old system was demonized in the Bible in order to, to supplant and bring about the new system. This is why Jacob or Israel was referred to as the supplanter. I mean, I mean he who supplants one civilization with another. Please. Mm. Wow. Please. Listen, y'all listen to Hakeem Bey. On the Sabira Bay show, if you have a question, yo, <laughs> feel free to call this brother up no. because, like I said, he's going to have an answer for you. You Just bring up, with your you bring up Ham. You know, what about the other two brothers, Sham wow. and Japheth? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what happened to them? These were actually just different branches of us, just giving different names. Copper color skin? Demarcate the different, right, the different parts. Because when you look at, for instance, Shem, and you look at the table of nations in Genesis, Many of the children of Shem have the exact same name as the children of Ham. All right. Dedan, Sheba, both on both sides, Ham and Shem. And if you look at the language, the Hamitic language was broken up to hundreds, if not thousands of dialects, where the Shemitic language was broken up to maybe six to eight, let's say, dialects. Naturally, the older language or the root language had been around longer, had more time to break up into many more dialects. The younger branch, you see what I'm saying, the younger one was only broken down to maybe six or so dialects, showing that it was younger. It actually, in terms of looking at it like a tree, that was just a branch where the hermetic strands were dealing with is where you get into the root and you get into the trunk of the tree. Mm. So, so really, you know, those names, Ham and Shem and, and Jacob in the Bible, were re it's really cold. And in the Bible, what you have is really a cold language. And it was right. dealing with certain things that was going on in different periods of time, different political agendas, you know, was involved with that. But it was a cold language in there. 
Wow. All right. But we have so many. Like, listen, I'm going to put this out there again because I know we have so many people listening, so many questions. Um, Feel free. I mean, the phone lines are open, 323-473-3100. You're listening to Brother Hakeem Bay on the Sabira Bay Show. We got a caller. Caller, welcome to the Sabira Bay Show. What's your name and where you calling from? It's Rashid from Los Angeles. Peace, Brother Rashid. Uh, peace, peace. Uh, Brother Hakeem Bay. Please see you, Sabira Bay, and all the brothers on the panel. Peace. 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 Um, I just got a question. Uh, brother, you have a website I can get all your books and DVDs. And just, um, yes, indeed. This is a crease my knowledge uh, here. Let me, yeah, let me get a matter of fact, I got a special on it going on for all 13 books. Well, uh, where I, I, I wish I had it for 24 hours, but um, I'm, I think I'll spend it. We get all tw- all 13 books for, um, d- these are the e-books, so you just download them instantly. Um, all, all, t- all 13 for 30, for $30. And um, these books now, um, when you go to it, all things on earth dot com forward slash JMP, which stands for Journal of the Moors Paradigm, JMP. So that's all things on earth dot com slash JMP, Journal Moors Paradigm. And um, yes, your question was? Um, that's basically all my. I want, brother, just to get the information because the um, guy researched the information and then, um, and then uh, uh, just get increase my knowledge pretty, pretty much. All, All right, right, that's a question, it. though. <laughs> nice. All right, and if you can, if you can, because I got the pictures and images from the journals on the website live right now, streaming live. So if you want to view it, and, and that's for anybody in the audience, again, go to join. Dot me forward slash WordPress2, all one word, and you'll see live images that are up there. i got different images showing the sinking of Atlantis and the cataclysms and everything. And like I said, pictures worth a thousand words. i got some powerful pictures in here I lo- for you I- to check out. Listen, um, is, is it is it a WordPress2? Now, is it the number two or the word two? All oh, word. the number two. Thanks for reminding me. The number, number two. two. So again, that's join.me slash wordpress and then the number two. Is it HTTP or just you just put it in a... You could type in now. You just type in join.me. You don't even have to put the www. Yeah, you ain't got to do that no more. Like you just that. punch it in. You just just, put, <laughs> yeah, just type in join.me mm-hmm. forward slash WordPress 2. And um, you'll, when you go there, you'll see I got a picture of the cataclysms, the ones on the ships and everything, and and uh, dealing with those cataclysms that took place. See, we are we are the descendants of what they refer to as the ancient Atlanteans. The ancient, the ancient Atlantean Empire became known as the domains of Lamexum, which extended from Ethiopia and Egypt across Africa to North, South, and Central America, all the way to the coast of California, ruled by Queen Khalifa. Matter of mm-hmm. fact, I have some quotes in here too dealing with Queen Khalifa. But we have a illustrious history that's been totally swept under the rug. Um, I'm scrolling down, and I have some pictures here. And regarding how powerful we were at the time, Plato says, regarding that, he said, this power came forth out of the Atlantic Ocean, for in those days the Atlantic, o- Atlantic was navigable, and there was an island situated in front of the Straits of Gibraltar, which you call the Clouds of Hercules, Gibraltar. The island was larger than Libya and Asia put together, and was the way to other islands, talking about the Caribbean, and from the islands, you might pass through the whole of the opposite continent, talking about the Americas, North South America, which surrounded the true ocean. Mm-hmm. We, had, uh, we had a civilization here that went all the way from Alaska all the way down to Peru. Exactly. A fast, fast civilization up and down the Mississippi River, down all the river systems. Mm-hmm. And the five great lakes, the ancestors said that those were man-made lakes, that we dredged those lakes out. Those lakes contain half of the world's fresh water supply is in those five great lakes, also symbolized by the five-pointed star, all right? Um, there's so much, I mean, dealing with this whole hemisphere. This is why when I walk up and down this hemisphere, I know I'm aboriginal. You know, I hear the answer. <laughs> Say it like, again, Hakeem. <laughs> we, we aboriginal people of this land. And actually, I'm from Philly, and there's a sign in Philadelphia on the Delaware River. And if you're if familiar, familiar with, with Philly, is they built a the casino down in there, but when you go down there, you'll see William Penn, uh, um, Penn down there, Penn's Landing. It has a street sign that says a Mexum, and I want Hakeem to build on that word a Mexum. It's a street called a Mexum yeah. in Philadelphia. 
You know, and I like like That's Alberto all. right now. Alberto's sitting here. You know, he's up online. That's what I love about this I'm show. I'm already like, there. He's already there, like like looking stuff up. This is what we need to be doing constantly. Okay, but we got That's another right. caller. Uh, Hakeem, we got another caller. Caller, welcome to the Sabir Bay Show. Your name and where you calling from? Peace. This is Anya. Anya hey. Bay. Peace, Peace, Anya. Peace. She's Peace. another Sabir. <laughs> she's she also um, on the Sabir Bay team too. She gets it in on the on the in the New York side. <laughs> yeah. Peace, <laughs> to Anya. Um, so yeah, I well, first I just want to thank everybody, you know, for all the, the work that you guys put out. I really appreciate it because it helps me in my studies. But, um, yeah. I had a question regarding Ethiopia and its connection to the Moors. Oh, you know, wow. I read a lot, like, for example, like the 100 Amazing Facts about the Negro, you know, reading about it being like, where, where was I reading that? Basically saying, like, it gave to the Ethiopians, gave to the world the first idea of right and wrong, it thus laid the basis of religion things like that. So I've been reading a lot on things on Ethiopia being like maybe the basis of certain things, you know, like religion, That's but right. I'm just trying to understand, you know, Yucatan, you know, being like maybe the cradle of civilization, you know, it's just those things confuse me as far as, right. you know, understanding the history. So I wanted, if you could elaborate more on that, you know, I would love that. No problem. No problem. Yes, indeed. Again, going back to the divine of the land between the father and son, between Ham and Cush. And so the domains of a Mexum, which is our inheritance, and this was reallotted to us by the father of Egypt after the cataclysms that took place. And that went from Ethiopia across the North, South, and Central America. Then you had Kush going in the opposite direction. And this is where you get the original two-headed eagle with the head facing both ways. Mm-hmm. All right? That's dealing with the two directions that the father and son took, the empires. Ethiopia or Kush wasn't just that part of Africa, the Horn of Africa, that area over there, but all that part of Egypt. Egypt was just a colony of Kush, of, of ancient Kush. That once that once that part of now filled in, that part of Upper Egypt was I mean excuse me, lower Egypt was underwater. That part adjacent to the Mediterranean was underwater until that silt and mud and everything filled that part in and then those Kush sites filled that part there and later became known as Misraim, Ham, Ham, so on and so forth. All right, then you go further east into Sumer, Elam, India, all that was Kush. This is why the ancient Greeks speak of two Ethiopias, Eastern Ethiopia and Western Ethiopia. And he said the only difference between the two, he said the skin and everything's the same, the culture, everything's the same. The only difference between the two is the texture of the hair. You know, one goes from straight to wavy, another one goes to being curly and woolly. Mm. All right? But other than that, they were the same people, and we were constantly crisscrossing and crossing paths. But we were one people. This is why the ancient uh, warriors of the ancient empires in India were called Kshatriya. And that comes from the word Kush, Kshatriya. All right? When they speak about the Aryans, the Aryans wasn't no Europeans. The Aryans were Kushites. Tell them. On horses. Hmm. All right, so we got to knock out all those lies out the box. You know, all that Aryan mythology, all that stuff like that, of some European invaders coming down 1500 BC. There wasn't even no Europeans around in 1500 BC. <laughs> 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 that's, that's foolishness, you know. So, but anyway, yeah. it was one civilization that's, mm-hmm. and, and that circumnavigated the whole planet in the Pyramid mm-hmm. University circled the whole planet like a belt, just like the elliptic in the heavens above. We circled the whole mm-hmm. planet with that premium university system. Thank you, uh, Sister Anya. We have another caller. Caller, um, thank you All for, right, thank for you. calling in. Caller, welcome to the Sabir Bay Show. Your name and where you calling from? Abdah. Hey, I'm sister. calling from Georgia. Hey, <laughs> peace, Georgia. Georgia. Peace, Sister Da. Georgia. Peace. Peace, Sister Da. Peace. Listen to what's being said. Okay. That's good. Thank you. Thank you for okay. listening in. We got Georgia listening in. All right, sir. Wow. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's what's up. Thank you That's for listening right. in. Like I said, we have a lot That's of people. Tall. Wash it tall down there. Wash it tall. Yeah, Man. Wash it tall. That's right. That's okay. right. No doubt. That's, That's the old civilization down house. there, though. Georgia in the house. Georgia in the house. But um, right. we're going to take a quick break so we can pay some bills, y'all. But always, y'all, if you want to advertise and sponsor this show, please get at us. I'm on Facebook, Twitter. You get us at the station. My Facebook is Sabir Bay or the Sabir Bay Show. The Twitter is the Sabir Bay Show. 
Um, also, check me out. We have classes every Wednesday at 7 o'clock, 1901 Atlantic Avenue. Be there sharp because we end sharp sometimes. Sometimes. But um, <laughs> actually, 9 o'clock, he was over. We're going to take a quick break um, and speak with Brother Hakeem Bay for like another 10 minutes because he has another engagement um, coming up real soon. And I want to get that brother prepared. And this is what I, our work, we, we do this 24-7. The work is nonstop. So we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. You listen to the Severe Bay Show on LA Talk Live. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) That's right. Up and down, up and down we go. Beat mine is on the track, I'm conducting the flow. Reverse flow, you get wolf if you didn't know. Either way, when I play, I'm a beast at the show. Like yeast, I will grow to the east, I'ma go. And increase what I know, bring relief to my bro. I keep in the dough, but my feast I don't show. I keep on the low, and I reap what I sow. When it's time for the concert, I creep in the show. Sometimes I walk in off the street to the show. Grab the microphone, bring the heat to the show. Hip I teach it if you're seeking to know The introduction to the course is perceive what you know When hip-hop is what you perceive, leave, you can go Others may rap, but they don't need what you know You a divine speaker, what you need is to grow Believe me, I know, I see how it go All the doors are shut till you reach and for dough But if everything's for sale, then he is a hoe And if everything's for sale, then she is a hoe I do things freely, I don't believe in the dough up and down, up and down we go. Mr. Wall, Evil D, KRS on the flow. Anytime, any place, rhymes ready to go. Entertainment from the pavement, man, you already know. Never stalling, we go. Never crawling for dough. We that orthodox hip hop that all of you know. Man, I live through the ballers, they ain't balling no more. The arenas, the theaters ain't calling no more. The budgets from the labels ain't falling no more. Them big gold cables are pawned at the stove. Them cats now thinking, yo, what was it all for? 20 platinum plaques you still can't tour all over the radio you still can't draw now listen back to your lyrics what was that all for when you had the opportunity you could have spit it raw but instead you wanted head from the lips of all these horns now you're 54 and you don't spit it no more your jams in the clubs they don't rip it no more head in the bed you don't get it no more now you're starting to think what i'm living for that's when you see krs is on tour after a two-hour show he's spitting <laughs> one more Reality Radio, handcrafted for your listening pleasure. You're tuned in to L.A. Talk Live, Yo, where we're more than just talk. Her rhyme is KRS, crazy rhyme stylist. You better keep your eye on this. Ain't none higher than this. These clubs don't stop hiring Chris. Time for the light to shine. Too many rappers rapping and they even fight for the right to rhyme. I'm nice with mine. I'm precise with mine. As you can see, I don't need ice to rhyme. You a fighter. I don't even like your kind. The rhyme you spitting now might be mine. Yo, what they doing here if they don't like the rhyme? Hey, everybody, it's your man, Sabir Bay, back on your airwaves, inviting you to join us every Tuesday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the Sabir Bay Show, discussing history, law, and hip-hop. Every Tuesday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, the Sabir Bay Show, exclusively on latalklive.com. You also can catch us on iTunes Radio and R&B, Live 365, Radio Flag, and now Stitcher Radio. Or watch us and listen directly at latalklive.com. Reality Radio, handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. Young Connection, your one-stop connection for all your graphic design and commercial printing needs. Young Connection is a full-service printing and media design company dedicated to providing the highest level of customer service and satisfaction. Young Connection provides swift response and rapid turnaround services for banners, brochures, business cards, letterheads, church bulletins, funeral programs, flyers, logo design, posters, and much, much more, all at an affordable price. Young Connection, the official printing company of LA Talk Live. Give them a call at 310-491-3336. That's 310 310- or or visit their website at www.youngconnection.com that's www.youngconnection.com Young Connection Printing and Media Services 
proud sponsors of LA Talk Live, where it's more than just talk. Wow, wow. Welcome back to the Severe Bay Show on LA Talk Live, the hottest station in the nation. I'm not and I'm just not saying it. It is. If y'all know one better, call us up in the studios, 323-473-3100. And y'all tell us different because you're not going to get this nowhere else. I'm on the line with my brother, Hakeem Bay. But actually, before we get started, if you did not get your Masonic Gate paper, please get your paper. Um, You can go to More Civil Letter on Facebook or MoreCivilLetter.net. Brother Abdullah Bay is a bad etymology. Shut your mouth. Shut your your mouth. mouth. But um, don't forget, come out. Actually, Brother Taz Tariq Bay will be in L.A. on June the 6th at the Karash Unity Center. The tickets are $20. Y'all spend more than that on weed, movies, whatever y'all shit is. Come out and get some real knowledge. Spread this show worldwide. Tweet it out. Listen, tell them we got Brother Hakeem Bay on. We're going to give him another 10 minutes. But if you want to have a question or a comment for the brother, give us a call. It's just come with your T's crossed and I's dotted because this is what we do 24-7. Share this with everybody, not with the guys kissing each other. Right. Hakeem Bay, welcome back to the show, brother. <laughs> Why y'all laugh when I say that? Know, because if you want to take more time, I'm, I, I, you know, I can give you another half hour, no problem. Yeah, yes Sold. sir, yes sir, yes sir. No <laughs> it's so funny, y'all guys is crazy, man. <laughs> man, we, cause we, I want to wrap up. Cause I have, I'm gonna give me 15 more minutes, That's and actually, if you can't get your questions in in 15 minutes to this brother. Actually, he's going to be a regular on the show. I'm going to just bring Hakeem back anytime mm. he wants. Like I said, the door is open to all my brothers. Abdullah, Todd, Hakeem, yeah. the door is open for y'all. I'm, brothers, giving, I'm giving them the basics right now. I, I'm I know you are, brother. Can, 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 right can, can, I know you are. We're going to get you out here to basics. L.A., brother. But Shaquem has a question mm. for you, man. So, hey, brother Hakeem, and thank you again. What did uh, what did Toth had to do, or to Tahuti had to do with... Um, 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 the Lost City. Did you want to hear this? Well, question? well, well, well to who? So, so, oh, okay. To who do? You, to who do you actually rep- represented a certain no, uh, uh, oh, institution that, man. dealing with the oh. Tehudi priesthood, and so that was a type of priesthood or a type of priest that circumnavigated the whole planet as well. Or everywhere, see, everywhere, the, everywhere our ancestors traveled. And circumnavigated the planet, especially on the pyramid belt, you will find similar place names. You will find um, similar institutions, cultural institutions. You know, the Tahuti priesthood or Tahuti represents a, it's like an institution. So it wasn't like there was like just one Tahuti located in the place that they say it was called Egypt somewhere. Tahuti, there was a whole Tahuti priesthood and a whole Tahuti science. Dealing with, the, you notice that he's not only the god of magic, but also the god of writing. Right. And so right there, that's telling you that there's a connection between writing and magic. magic. And we know that magic is nothing more than a form of high technology or high science. Mm-hmm. And so there's wow. a connection between high science and writing. And this is why in the Quran it said, man, a lot to a man, all that he knows by the use of the pen. And this is where you also get the saying, the pen is mightier than the sword. This was a high science that was taught throughout the planet. Wow. Yo. Ap- listen, after this, after Hakeem, you know, I'm going to play something that Karis one was just talking about, what he just said. And it's, I'm telling you, there's no coincidence. And I got another question for something him. Something yeah, from we, got, we have a question. You got a couple of questions. You got a caller. Caller, welcome to the Sabira Bay Show. Where you, what's your name and where you calling from? Caller, is you there? Good luck trying to sleep tonight. 313. 313. Going once, going twice. I think they was calling the prayer line. This is not it. Um, Detroit. 313. 313? Detroit. Probably Detroit. Well, Sal, but, but, uh, Sal has a question for you on Brother Hakeem. Hey, peace, Brother Hakeem. How you doing, man? Peace. All is well. Yeah, man. I want to talk about NWA. Northwest Hello? of Maxim. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Got y'all. Right, the original NWA. Yeah, exactly. Right. And uh, you know, I, I before I got into this Morris knowledge, I was you know kept uh, kept asleep, and I was going by titles like Mexican. And can you just fast forward, like define what Mexican means in, in modern day, like just just so I could get my Mex- Spanish speaking brothers onto this show and like to to, to show them what Mexicans and yeah. Moors and how they relate in, in present day time, please. Me- Mexican is directly tied in with a Mexum or Maxim, you know, 
and it's all dealing with that ancient civilization over here that was rooted in what was called the Olmec. And then later on, there was later admixtures. You had primarily two peoples here that mixed. And again, it was just us coming from different directions. You had those of us, um, which they talk of, the ones who were coming through the Bering Straits, the elders referred to them as the Shemanites. And these are the one of the Mongol or the Mongol, 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 so-called Mongoloid descent. Then you had those coming up from the south, coming from two directions, coming from Mu and coming from Atlantis, or coming from what is known as Africa and coming from the region of the Pacific. And they all came here and mixed and mangled and formed one civilization here. So the people who, who they refer to as Mexicans now, we, you see, we were all one people. Right. But when the so-called Spaniards came to power here, what they began to do was divide us and classify the mestizo, sapos, this, that, all these different names, mulatto, this and that, and divide us based on a color spectrum, which according to Yaku Santos was also tied in with the color code of resistance in, ele- in electronics. This was all part of a science. And what they were trying, what, what, the, what these scientists were doing, and the scientists who created what we refer to as a European, Remember, any people, remember the Europe, so-called European people would not come about as a separate race because we as a people, we produce albinism. I remember our guys I referred to us as having a black germ and a brown germ. The black germ couldn't be broken down, but the brown germ could be broken down to lighter color variations. And this is all dealing with melanin and the varying, varying degrees of melanin. So what, the, what those ancient scientists had in mind, the Yakub scientists, Yakub not so much being an individual, but Yakub being a team of scientists mm-hmm. who had this in mind, and what they want to do was draw out our color spectrum. In other words, the same way a painter would use a blotch of white paint to draw out the, to draw out the uh, shades of gray from a blotch of black paint, this is what they did. This is what they decided to do. This is what they wanted to do by creating this European they created him to amalgamate in order to draw out our color spectrum because they felt that different varying degrees of melanin produce different types of mindsets, wow. all right, connected with the mind and connected with the pineal gland, which secretes melatonin. It gets us to some deep science, wow. all right? But keep in mind that really what you witness in the terms of us is our human bouquet of the planet Earth drawn out to all different color shades. And some of it drawn out by nature as we went to different climates, China, so on and so forth, and some of it drawn out by artificial means through through, through genetic manipulation. Mm-hmm. And this is what the team of Yakub and those scientists were dealing with genetic manipulation. Wow. Right. And, and even at that time, when the Spaniards were, were amalgamating with the with the uh, indigenous, they they even made things called cast paintings, where you could see the visual representations yep. of all these mixtures going on. Do you know where I could get my hands right. on a cast painting? I would say. Um, you have to, I would check with the university in Mexico okay. and try to get a hold of the early works of the so-called early conquistadors. Okay. We got somebody in the background. Thank you very much. Wow. Listen, only on the Sabir Bay show you're going to get this type of information. Like I said, right. y'all, tweet this out, put it out. No, this, this, this is important because yes. this is a bridge that's right. bringing our people together. Because right now we're caught up in in complexions and and and, and money issues and finance and nah, stuff. And we, we won when the Europeans came here. He seen. I'm not talking in in, in the in the journal Morris paradigm. I got a very powerful picture showing up showing the Aboriginals being rounded up by the conquistadors, and it shows so-called Mexicans and brothers because before they came here, we lived together. Yeah, we refer to ourselves as the red and black ants. Just like, the, just like you see the red ants and the black ants, they work real hard. Yeah. We, we seen ourselves as the red and black ants. We were one people. We mixed freely with one another. At first, when the Mongols began descending from the north, at first we got into war with them. But eventually we amalgamated them into us. Mm. All right? This is why later on the Aztecs and everything, all of them had to prove their validity by tracing their descent back to us, the ancient Olmecs. That's how they proved the validity of their descent because... Remember, we had we had the scepter of divine monarchy, of divine kingship and queenship. We we founded that on the planet Earth, and all kingships on the planet. I don't care whether it be the Shogun or Japan. I don't care if it be a career. All kingships descended from us. We was given that scepter, and we 
created the institutions of yes. divine monarchy. This is why even later on, the Europeans, when I traced my family roots back, of course, everything was aboriginal. Everything was aboriginal here. There was towns that of my family in North Carolina, like Latham, North Carolina. That was named after my family. All Cherokee, and then going into the Creek and Muscogee and down into Alabama. All right? When I'm tracing them back, I come across the name Morris. So this is also dealing with a branch that was coming out of what they call England in that area as well, in Europe. And this traced back to St. Maurice. St. Maurice, who's the patron saint of Germany, that deals with the so-called black nobility, or it deals with that Moorish blood that was brought into Europe, the so-called Sangreal, or Holy Grail. The Holy Grail was that bloodline coming from us, which the Europeans had to mix into their kingships, their, their monarchies, every certain amount of generations in order to what? In order to claim the divine right of kings. Exactly. And this was tied in with the so-called blood of Judah. This is why when I traced my family coat of arms back, the coat of arms had the lion rampant on there. Whenever you see that, that means associated with the tribe of Judah. Wow. That but, means associated wow. With, the, with, with the tribe of Judah, and that means associated with that bloodline. They had to mix that bloodline in in order to claim the divine right of kings. Hmm. And that's the only way they were able to call it the Holy Roman Empire. They couldn't even put the word holy there if they didn't mix that blood in every couple of generations. But you know, Hakeem, I was talking, I was in a coffee shop today, and a lady owns a coffee shop from Germany. And, I, and it, it was like bugging me to ask her, like, what do you call black people, so-called blacks in Germany? She said, I said, do y'all call them Moors over there? She said, yeah, they're Moors. But w mm -hmm. I want you to explain, wow. exactly, I want you to break that down because some people will, may be listening to this and thinking the Moors is some type of clique that you join because they'll make it separate like, I'm not a Moor. I'm not, you know what I mean? They'll they'll separate themselves mm -hmm. and say, I'm not that, like it's some type of clique or religion. that's not, you know, or religion. Could you why? explain to everyone now why they're online and y'all can feel free to call us up on the studios? 323-473-3100. But could you explain that um, for everybody, brother? Yeah, I mean, all, through, all throughout Europe, I mean, it, it moves deep. I came across this in tracing my family move back. I traced it back all the way back to 1780, what was it, 17, 1787. Excuse me, 1784, I traced my family back. And they was Morris. Their last name was Morris. M O R R I S. Was the corner J. Roger, of course, means descended from the Moors. I got the coat of arms and everything. And they was listed in the Census Bureau. So I have, I have the actual Census Bureau records from Ancestry.com. And it was listed as free inhabitants. And this goes back into, into the uh, Articles of Confederation. Prior to the Constitution, we referred, referred to as free inhabitants on the same footing as citizens, all right? And so this is how I found my family listed there when I traced it back further, led to St. Maurice. And so all throughout Europe, like for instance in Germany, the patient saint being uh, 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 St. Maurice, Maurice or St. Morris, all right, which means Moorish. Now, isn't it ironic that here's Hitler talking about white supremacy and all this stuff like that, but at the same time, he was bowing down and and and. and, and recognizing the patron saint of Germany being St. Maurice, a Moor. Exactly. Not only that, <laughs> but the so-called spear of destiny that Hitler was trying to get was a spear that St. Maurice carried in the battle. Right. That's the spear of destiny. Also, every, Holy Ro every emperor of the Holy Roman Empire had to be consecrated at the altar of St. Maurice. Do I think this is a coincidence? Wow. So stop running with this black thing, y'all. So We're Moors, man. We're Moors. Stop with this. Stop giving them the power of saying so white supremacy. Much. They was bowing That's down to an us as Moors. Name. It even goes. It even goes. It even proceeds and go before the, emperor, the time the Emperor of Morocco was consolidated and formed. It goes even before that time, going to the roots of M U M U M R, going way back. You find that root in ancient Kemet. You find that root in ancient Sumer going way back, associated with Marduk or the Moorish Dukes. Hey, I mean, it's, just, it's just crazy. It just goes what, what, what about the, what about the Macs Mar and the Mix and the exactly. McRitchies and the McDonald's and all that, the Mac? The, can you explain the yeah. M, the Mac for us? Mars, or the, the Macs. Of, when you get to ancient and modern Britons, oh, wow. I got quotes in here, man. On the, um, <laughs> man. <laughs> We're going to get you in L.A., brother. Yes. Yes. Book number 
<laughs> it's crazy. It's so much. From book number two, I have a lot of quotes coming in here from Ancient and Modern Britons by David McRitchie, and he talks about how even the, what we refer to as the Vikings were originally Moors, called the yeah. Vikings. These were the Vikings, the, the, nobility, the nobles who were ruling Europe at that time, and the Europeans were the serfs. And we used to, and they used to ride through Europe, and they used to collect the tribute. And that's where we get the word blackmail, blackmail from. from yep. Blackmail was the tribute paid to the so-called black army. This was this was their own terminology. This is where it came from. It's called the Danegeld. And they had to pay that. When they seen the Moors coming, they had to pay that particular tribute. Now, I'm going to read a quote here. And this is coming from David Ritchie. He says here, uh, boom, 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 that the Moors, quote, or so-called... Oh, wait, let me just The Moors or so called Indians on the eastern seaboard of the United States were a maritime people and were the same Moors found on the other side of the Atlantic coast, on the Atlantic, on the coast from southwest Africa all the way up to England, Ireland, Scotland, Denmark, etc. In fact, the people called the Danes and Vikings were actually Moors navigators. David McRitchie says in the book Ancient Modern Britain, Volume 1, on page 299, quote, It seems likely that the Creekmen or pirates were chiefly the races of Cimbri or Black Danes and Mori or Blackamoors. He also says on the same page, they quote, they are better known in modern history under their, under their general designation of Vic Kings, the Vic Kings or Creekmen. This is the reason why they talk about they found Vikings all here in North America. These were the, these were the ancient Moors navigators. Exactly. And the Europeans who were with them were the ones who we it's who we put in bondage and made them roll the uh, work the galleys of the ships and roll and roll the ships. Mm. So the, even going back into that, the original it says here, um, the Europeans found among the Vikings were the serfs and peasants that David McRitchie said the Danes and Vikings were terrorizing and kidnapping. So all these ancient legends they talk about in Europe when they talk about. Uh, or fire, fire, these, these fire-breathing dragons that took maidens into their lair and took treasures and guarded it. These were moors and scale armor with firearms. Snatching up European women and selling them to homes. They said it was guarding treasures and guarding caves and put the women in there or whatever. These were moors and scale armor with firearms. <laughs> the technology that the moors had was so advanced <laughs> at that time that the Europeans thought it was magic. They said when the Moors approached the coast, they said there was dragons flying to and fro in the air. These are Moors launching modern artillery. Exactly. Hey, hey, brother Hakeem, can I ask you another question? Because wow. you you spoke about Marduk, right? And and it goes mm -hmm. back to you know ancient Sumerian and his and his father Inki and the lost. If you mm -hmm. know about the lost book of Inki and stuff like that, but yeah, and little Inki, all that. Right. All it, that to do with our ancient our ancient uh, divine monarchies. So let me ask you a question. Uh, are, you know, the ancient Sumerians and uh, the people of uh, Kemet and, you know, other people talked about um, um, something from heaven coming down to earth. Um, and today mm -hmm. they're, they're talking about the modern, uh, what they call, you know, astronaut theorists and or, or alien, you know, these alien people saying that they were <laughs> actually aliens. What, what are your thoughts on that? That's us. That's oh. us. And the vehicles that we've navigated all throughout <laughs> right. this universe, mm -hmm. seeding and terraforming planets. Remember, we were not only uh, 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 navigators of the seven terrestrial seas, we were navigating celestial seas. Right, right. This is why, I, I don't know if you're familiar with the mothership that they found on the moon yep. yeah. that popped on, uh, during the Apollo 20 mission. Yeah. A yeah. ship that's miles long. Exactly. And wow. one of the pilots was a sister. The last one I hear. You saw her, you know. Well, you saw, it, yeah. Mm -hmm. The picture yeah. was ridiculous. I, I, I even spoke to Lucas Stockton Bureau, who was the one who originally, who originally um, uh, uh, interviewed the astronaut William Rutledge. I spoke directly with uh, Lucas Stockton Bureau because he had got some things that wasn't released, exactly. and that's what I wanted to get from Luca. Were those things that he knew that wasn't released, but it's a whole science dealing with deaths that was up on the moon, and even that goes back to the ancient Ethiopians. See, uh, let me uh, just just to cut it, just to segue to that real quick, let me show you how truth is strange. As a matter of fact, the name of the second issue is Truth is Stranger Than Fiction. Mm. 
he said that when they found, and they got actually pictures of them in the lunar module with this sister on board. Right. Thick lips, you know, brown skin. You see the um, locks in her hair and everything, right? Right. And hold on. She didn't have a permanent head? Hmm. And she still, she still look young. That was the crazy part. And what was that stuff on her eyes? They, they, um, yeah, they, they, she had the thing going from a pineal gland, the third eye, mm-hmm. to her eyes, to her mouth, and that's how she navigated your ship. Wow. Using that. All right, this is this is some deep science. We was we was terraforming planets, just like that Star Trek. We would terraform planets and then set up Northgate civilization. Northgate civilization just involved mathematics from zero to nine, zodiac and geometry. Geometry, geometry, geo meaning Earth or planet, and metry meaning measurement system. So any wow. planet we went to, all we had to do was first look, identify the North Pole and the South Pole. Break everything down, break and look it down to 12 divisions, the 12 signs of the zodiac, and establish civilization right there. Exactly. Wow. wow. Hey, listen, we North got Gate civilization. That's, that's why you see my thing. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Northgate civilization. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. Listen. Northgate civilization. Hakeem, I want to wrap this up because yeah. actually we went up out of time, but y'all listen. In order for us to have more time, we need more advertising and sponsorship. But I want to bring Hakeem back for part two to this. Um, but I'm, I, if you want to see Brother Hakeem Bay out here in L.A., please get with me. Um, we're working on trying to get it together. Yes, we pay our people who, who come out here, plane, hotel, and we give them an honorary, and it's not less than five. So this is not free when we see us bring when you see us bringing these people out here. We have to pay for everything, and it's only about two, three people who actually put this on every two months. So we try to do it every time. So we ask you to purchase DVDs, come to the class, donate, give something, because this show also has to be advertised and sponsored too. So there's not again, put your money up where your mouth is. That's all I want to say. But Brian, I think. Hakeem. I didn't even get into the deep stuff. No, bro. We're going to do a part two. We're going to do a part two, but we got to. I know we gotta, still have stuff that we need to cover, but we. I know, bro. That's why I said I want you to come back. We're going to do a part two also. No but I want people to come out here to LA to come see you. We ain't right? sleeping tonight, are we? No, but brother Hakeem, Man. give your information out real quick Um, before I don't like to rush at the last minute try to wrap this stuff up. But again, we need more sponsors and advertisers to keep this time going. Go ahead, brother. Give your information no out. All right, once again. Um, if y'all, just to give you a little hint, if y'all want to see some of the deep stuff that I'm getting into now, go to secretofsecrets.info. That's going to take you into a whole nother thing. That's, but anyway, you, you gotta, y'all see why they call me Morpheus when y'all go there. <laughs> secretofsecrets.info. All right. We created whole worlds over there. All right. But also... I'm um, dealing with the 13 General Morse Paradigm books. I'm going to have it on sale. I'll keep it up there for one more day where you get all 13 of the General Morse Paradigm books for $30. All 13. That's less than like $3 a book or something like that. It's worth it. They're spending money on it, man. Yeah. Thingsonearth.com slash JMP. That stands for General Morse Paradigm. And you get that. And I'll keep you breast and I'll send you catalogs. Of those who order that, I'll send you catalogs of some of the old stuff. I don't even have it. I don't even have it advertised on the internet. Sold. But those who order that, I know you went to it. I'm gonna hit you up with some stuff that's not even hasn't even been released yet. And I and I get some stuff, brother. When I come back there to New York, I'll be leaving in a couple of weeks, and I'll grab some stuff. When I come back there, we'll link up. What till I get home? I came. No I want to thank you, brother. I see you yes. next week, man. Don't forget. Thank you. Same. Good work, brother, give give, give thank, you. thank you, brother. Give thanks. Great ammo. Yeah, wow. Yo, I mean, I, I've been Please. watching you on YouTube Please. for years, man. Thank Ho- you. Yeah. Hotep, my brother. Yeah, but thank y'all. Thank y'all. Wow, man, man. that's Please. that's a Please. lot. But Please. I got two pieces I wanted to play because I wanted Hakeem to listen to this because he was talking about the hieroglyphs and stuff like that. This is an interview mm. with um brother Karis right. one building about how hip hop, how hip hop right yeah. goes directly back into our culture. Right. And and that's is all one, and that's why it's the fifth element of hip hop is knowledge, and this is what we give you here. That's right. And I want to give East thank Coast Af- and West Coast. Yes, all the soldiers out there on the West Coast. Peace. I, I want to give <laughs> thanks to Africa Bambada for naming me the fifth element of hip hop. You know, um, but he Dang. actually, yeah. But um, this is a little interview I want everybody to listen to real quick. But then I'm gonna go in our closing out song. But 
I got something. What are you doing, man? You in church? I'm calling all y'all guys, man. Hey, he's still, y'all. <laughs> this guy's crazy. <laughs> so I can't. This guy's yeah. bugging, man. So but this is my. I want y'all to pay play to, close attention to this brother. How um, brother, my man, Karis one, which he gets all my DVDs and all his information. He's like loading up with it. But listen up, real quick. The Spirit Base Show every Wednesday, every Tuesday at three o'clock Pacific Standard Time. But listen up, real quick. Ready? Expressions of our elements. These are the elements. Hold up. Did we do it? Did you lose me, man? You're still there. Oh, okay. I heard it stop. Okay, we got it. Beatboxing is a form of MC. Graffiti art. Today it's called graffiti art. But anywhere you go in the world, graffiti art is the world's oldest art. Again, hominin humans. In Toulouse, France, they found stenciled human hands, which they call graffiti, by the way. Mm -hmm. 32,000 years old. This is early. This is before modern man. This is before homo sapiens. This is, hip hop is before all of that. This is hominin humans doing graffiti. What is graffiti? My self-expression in art on a wall. The earliest form of graffiti, berry juice in the mouth, Blow it onto the cave wall so you see my hand. And check it out. They blew it. They didn't draw. They didn't pick up a, a pen and write this stuff. No. They put juice in their mouth and spit it onto the wall over their hands so they make an impression with their hands. This is known science. This is science all over the world. The earliest writing, the earliest human writing ever is graffiti. It's called graffiti by anthropologists, archaeologists, sociologists. Go from there to what is called rock art. Rock art is the oldest form of art. We call it black books and we write our stuff, but ancient, ancient humans wrote on rocks, trees, no human on earth writes like this naturally. This is social indoctrination to write like this. <laughs> if you give a baby a pen or any writing material, a child, any writing material, they'll go right to the wall. Yes. No human, if you give them a, t a pencil, a young kid, you give them a pencil, they're going to go like this. Show me a table. Mm -mm. They're going to take the pen and out of their own natural self, they're going to go right to a wall and start writing a wall. And the first thing they're going to write is their name. This is known all over the world. This is, this doesn't, it doesn't matter what sociologists <laughs> think. We have higher knowledge. And this is they what I said, pure edutainment. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to the Sabira Bay Show. Listen, man, every week we are here. We need your support. Don't forget. Tweet this out. Send this out to your friends, your neighbors, your relatives, politicians, whoever. We hear every week. I want to thank you. I want to thank Shaq Kim, who does the Shock Factor every um every Friday. I want to thank Richard Carr, our program director, always for giving us this opportunity. I want to thank Alberto, Sal, Hayes, the whole team, Jessica, everybody. Karen. Karen, Karen. McGee for always helping. She's like she plays a big part. And bringing a lot of these people out here. We brought five people out here already. I just want to thank right. them and Brother Keith Washington. And hey, we and also thank you, Sabir. Thank you, man. I mean, I mean, thank you. I yes, thank you, bro. Yes. Thank you for that. <laughs> um, we got to go, man. And I want to peace out to my, my brother Mel Jackson because I didn't know where this saying come from. It's all love. But we're going to close out with this track by KRS One. It's called It's All Love. And this is for y'all, the people that is listening and looking at this video. Peace mm. until next week. I believe it. Peace. See you. Bye bye. Hasta luego. Here's what I'm about. Love. You know what it's about. Love. Time for a different route. Love. Hip hop, we live it out. Love. Breaking MC and graph writing DJ and no, we not playing. This is love. We live above. Them guns and them drugs. It's love. Ballers and thugs. It's love. Never no hate. Only debating the gates of love. Never making you wait for love. My flow is showing the love. And if there is none, we are creating the love. Never mistake the love for lust. Create your love and trust. I demonstrate the light of the love in us. Spiritual love. Physical love. Lyrical love. The miracle.
lyrical love, unconditional, mystical love. If you ain't got no love in your heart, how you living? How you moving? What you giving? What you proving? When you spitting? Is it hate or is it love? Whether you love money or heaven above, it's all love. Money, love. I love you. Yeah, yeah, uh. Reality Radio, handcrafted for your listening pleasure. You're tuned in to LA Talk Live, where we're more than just talking. The love I felt in 86 at my first start, ripping rappers apart for the love of the art. Yeah, the money was part of it, but not the start of it. I got the spark in the dark in the park as a kid. To bark, bark on the mic every night is a gig. When I finally did my thousand show and became a pro and saw the real record business, I said, oh, I think it's time to go, you know. There's no more love, you know. Cats just rap for the cash, pushing and shoving they bro. Therefore, I blow my flow. I fear no one toe to toe. I rock shows, but y'all know I love you. Oh, all of y'all. Yeah. It's for the love. We thank you for the love. I yeah. love you. Yeah. All of y'all to be coming to the show. It's for the love. It's all love. I y'all. love you. Find yeah. KRS shit. It's for the love. We thank you for the love. I y'all. love you. Yeah. Hurry up. It's all love. It's all love, y'all. Good looking. Yeah. Hey, yo, non stop, man. Step up. I just want to say thank you. You know what I'm saying? We all want to say thank you. Word. From our hearts. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Sincerely. Tipple of Hip Hop. To all the Tipple members and Tipple Preps. Tipple. Worldwide. You know what yeah. I mean? That's what's up. That's what's up. It's all love, y'all. Come on. What are you?